Hey guys, Gator, your coach of Florida Gators, here with our quarterfinal match of the WBE against Under the Radar and the Maryland Tour Terrapins. As always, link in the description. Sorry if you hear my AC, but it is hot outside right now. It is hot. It's actually not that hot. It's like that time in Japan where like, it's not that hot, but it's hot. It, what is it, humid? Like, it's humid, and it's just, eh. I just feel like, bleh. But, yep, you got another great, awesome postcom, because capture card broke. Um, shout out to Under the Radar who were playing for actually recording it because you know me I was just like alright Joe you can record it hey Joe you want to you want to actually re like record record you want to narrate it too and just upload it how about you just upload it on your channel <laughs> but literally after the game ended he was like yeah I'll record it for you I was not expecting that so shout out to him uh, but yeah we played in the regular season it was towards the end of the season um, post cap card break breakdown so you don't have a video of that from my side but at that point we were both locked in for playoffs anyway so we didn't really i'm assuming he didn't really take too much from it as far as like he wasn't really like trying to like it was just like you know he was, you know he got high some stuff you know whatever like you know he probably he probably went into gator mode where you just like spend two minutes building your team and then you play sort of thing but yeah um if you want like a recap of what happened real quick uh I brought Banna Zorora uh, and Combine Keldio. Both of those were pretty good. Um, he brought like Subtoxic Zygarde, which is pretty annoying. Um, he brought, uh, what what was his? I didn't see his Nesperus set at all. I only saw Psychic. Uh, he brought Combine Sableye, which looked like it could be pretty annoying. Um, I think his Darmanite was Scarf, which I don't think is that good against me. Like, I think Life Orber. Some something that you can mix your moves up is definitely better. Um, who cares? Who cares? This is our team, anyway. But I did say that I brought uh, Bandit Zorora and Combine Keldio, and I do think I'm extremely favored in this matchup, anyway. Just especially compared to last week, like my sweepers, he has a hard time dealing with my sweepers. He has a hard time dealing with my wall breakers. I actually have a pretty decent time dealing with his sweepers slash wall breaking stuff. Um, so yeah, def I definitely feel like I'm favored in the matchup, but anyway, so, uh, be being the, the great player, it's Gator, I decided to just switch the roles on the Zorora and Keldeo. So instead of Bandit Zorora and Calm Mind Keldeo, it's, uh, Bulk Up Zorora and Specs Keldeo. Wow. Good job. Great. Great. Good prep. Good prep. Uh, and you might be thinking, Gator, what are you doing? Trying to lock yourself in the outrage. You're not a dragon type. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> uh, like, I think Willy Tough and Stack Attack are probably his two like worst Pokemon against me. So being locked in the Outrage at plus one, like, it's not that bad against the rest of the stuff. It's not that bad. Uh, and with the Lumberry, um, I could get a potentially like an extra boost against Sableye if it has like Will O Wisp or something, or if something's trying to toxic me. Uh, you just like, why not? And the Z move was taken. Okay, so this, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Calm on Keldeo. Whoa, wow, very, very, very high level play here. Come on, Keldeo. Uh, Dawn fan, fodder, fodder. Um, it's it, it basically it gets to a KO by their mana tan life or flare blitz anyway. I think, like, it's not switching in. If, if he brings like a subtoxic Zygarde again, like, it's not switching in. Like, I mean, it is switching, it's switching into those, it's not beating those things, it's it's switching in and roaring them out or toxicking or knocking off, just being annoying. This is actually just here to be annoying. It's not here to do damage this time. Most of the time when I use Dawn Fan, it's just raw damage. But this one's just here to just be annoying and just fuck off sort of thing. Uh, it, don't even, it don't have Stealth Rock. It don't have Rapid Spin. Like, it's not... What, what, what do you want? It, it, it could, like, not... This is the last Pokemon to actually go on the team, too. Um, but if he does bring literally every physical attacker possible... Do you hear the police or something? If he brings, like, every physical attacker possible, then I guess it'll be okay. Like, if he brings Zygarde, Stack Attack, Darmanitan, Scyther... Uh, physical right you like all right. Then, then we're talking. Then we're talking. Uh, but yeah, Roar is nice if he is sub Zygarde. Zygarde is something that I am worried about still. Um, I do have a lot of checks to it, but it is still a Zygarde. Like, uh, sub anything is pretty good. Sub Dragon Dance, I think is very scary. Sub Toxic, I think is pretty scary. Uh, the biggest one I'm worried about is like sub Coil though, like sub Coil Dragon Tail, because uh, this Donphan cannot handle that at all. <laughs> Subcoil Dragon Tail. I mean, I just get phased out. Um, 
that's probably the biggest one I'm worried about. But I do have multiple checks to Zygarde on the team. But I do think that a sub coral dragon tail one is probably the one that is the most troublesome. Uh, Celebi. This is a similar set to what I brought last time. I just actually, is this a, no, I changed it a little bit. So I upped the speed. Um, so if anything, I'm seeing trying to speed creep uh, max speed Tran. Uh, that's modest. And then I up the special attack to where Grass Knot will always break max HP, max Pedef, uh Zygarde substitute. Um, so like this is probably my best response if he's like that Dragon Tail set. Uh, and then I have Thunder Wave in case he wants to go like hard Darm, hard Scyther or something like that on this and just catch the yellow color. Um, and then the rest in defense to handle Zygarde a little better. Celebi's just good because it can help against his a lot of his offensive threats to be honest. Um, like Zygarde, um, Raichu, Superior, uh, just like stuff like that. Like they can, they all can get a, find a way to get around this though. So I don't know if they're all, it, well, if he brings all of them, I don't know if they're all going to have, well, I know what he brought. Like, it's so hard to record a team builder when you already know what happened in the goddamn battle. Like, is that, it's just so hard to do that. It's actually not that hard, but like, I try to talk as I'm trying to say, talk as if I haven't battled yet, but it's going to be a shitty post comp. You get the point. Selby is a good blanket check to a lot of his stuff. Don fans a good blanket fodder to a lot of his stuff. These two offensively are very good against his team. Scarf Archaeops. It's like a, it's, dude, if he has Haban Berry on something, then under radar is a goat. Because I have no Dragon type on my team, but I have two Pokemon with Outrage. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I, I just want to be I just want to be Lance Dragon Master around here. But yeah. Um, U-turn is pretty spammable against stuff like Superior, Raichu, Mesprit, whatnot. Uh, and being having something faster, if he is going to be Scarf Darmanitan, 10, having something faster than that, um, it's pretty good. Even with Adamant, I'm faster. And then I just have Rock moves, because Rock moves are pretty spammable. Um, yeah. And then Rocks on Tran. Fire Z. Uh, Flamethrower. I'd like, I could have went for a bigger damaging Fire Z move. But uh, if he's like Sub, Glare, Leech Seed, Superior, or some nonsense like that, like, me trying to click an inaccurate fire move against that is not the play. <laughs> I was going to tell you, right? That is not the play. Um, and I do have will -O because if he does bring Mega Sableye and it's, it's trying to sit in front of my Tran, then I need this to get it out so I can get Stealth Rocks up. So I can will -O and then it'll bounce and hit myself and give me a Flash Fire boost. And then I get him with a humongous Fire Z. Um, and it's also nice because Zygarde is... It, it's kind of like a switch into Tran, uh, especially if he's bulky again. So if I can like catch it with a Willis on the switch in, it's also pretty good. But yeah, that's the team. Whatever. Let's switch scenes because I'm not going anywhere. Uh, however, you do get beautiful stitch for quality this time. Shout out to Under the Radar yet again for recording it like right after the battle happened. Um, which is why... Where's the... Blackout. All right. Hopefully I can just one tap this and remember what happened every single turn. Boom. And boom. Full screen. Look at that beautiful Citra quality. Anyway, there's my team. There's his team and his person. No shades. Questionable. Questionable outfit. Uh, is that the Como outfit? I can't tell from there. Uh, so he did mix it up from last time. He did not bring Mega Sableye. And... He did not bring Raichu. I thought Raichu was pretty good against my team in general. Um, and I thought Mega Sableye was also pretty good against my team in general. <laughs> so uh, so instead he brought Milotic and Stack Attack. Um, Milotic is something that is kind of worrisome offensively, I think. Uh, even defensively. Um, like, I don't know. I don't know. Milotic is an interesting one. It's an interesting one. Because it actually like can hit my whole team relatively hard. Uh, Stack Attack, on the other hand, I don't know what that's doing there. Like, it's just a rock, but we're not playing Minecraft, we're playing Pokemon. But I, I, I'm when I saw this in Team Preview, my initial thought was Stack Attack is probably a Stealth Rocker. And maybe his Mesper is like Calm Mind or Choice or something like that, like Scarf or something. Because his only Stealth Rockers on his team are Mesper, Stack Attack, and Wigglytuff. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, I think Wigglytuff and Stack Attack are probably two worst Pokemon against me. Um, so if he just has like Stack Attack as like set of rocks, I think it's like Infestation and a whole bunch of like just disgusting moves. Um, and like do some of that and then have Mesper as a setup sweeper, which is actually pretty dangerous. Um, that kind of had me worried. And of course the Zygarde is still there. The, the snakes are still there. Like he got a snake team or something, right? They're, they're there. The snakes are chilling. But yeah. 
Uh, I thought Archaeops was a... Oh, did, did we have a lot of preview time at the beginning of this thing? Okay, we actually don't. Okay, cool. Alright, so Under the Radar is confirmed a better YouTuber than Joey, who puts 5,000 bajillion hours at the beginning of the video, of just preview time. So I thought Archaeops was a pretty good lead, uh, just like I can U-turn out, and he didn't have much response. And, like, if he led with, like, stack attack, get up rocks, then, um, I can just start pressuring with Keldeo if I wanted to, or go into Tran and get up my own rocks, stuff like that. But these were superior, uh, not expected. But I get a nice fat U-turn off. Uh, unfortunately, it's not as fat as uh, the Calc was telling me. So it seems he's like max HP superior, um, which is interesting. So I don't know if he's like some scumbag uh, glare set and stuff like that, glare and leech seed and stuff. So I thought Selby would be a good uh, thing to scout it out a little bit as he goes straight for the Leaf Storm, gets that plus two juicy boost. He has leftovers, so he could be like sub glare or, or something. Um, so I'm thinking I could just U-turn out. <laughs> what is it? What, what are you doing? Hidden power book, hidden power book. I eat, thank goodness. Uh, probably because he's max HP, max speed, or something like that. Uh, if he was max special attack, I'd probably just die. Uh, I get a U turn off, but my Celebi is basically dead um, for doing nothing, and that Celebi is needed to potentially check multiple things. Uh, so that sucked. I like with Superior against my team. It's like guess, guess. It's a guessing game of what hidden power it is because it could be ground for Tran or bug for Celebi or flying for Heracross. Like it, the options don't stop. Uh, but I caught the wrong end of the stick of that. Uh, he had that Superior to try and lure my Celebi, and it did. But I am able to U-turn out uh, on his Milotic. I should actually pause it real quick. So based on that U-turn damage, uh, I, well, I fucked up my Calc on that U-turn damage. Um, so I thought he was like max HP. So I actually thought he was offensive. Um, I think like maybe he's max HP, max special attack, or something like that. Uh, he did he did he did just show leftovers though. So I, I wasn't sure like maybe he was max for death instead or something like that. Um, but if you actually calc that damage, it actually just tells you straight up he's max defense. <laughs> but uh, in the calc, I had max HP, but I had Marvel scale like activated or whatever. Like it, I, had, I had it as status. I don't know how it got to that. So I was like, okay. He's like max HP because <laughs> that is damage if he's max HP, but status and Marvel skill active. It's like, okay, max HP melodic. Maybe he's like offensive. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but I just go for recover because even if he is offensive, I can actually sponge an ice beam relatively well just because it's a Celebi uh, as he goes hard Mesprit. Um, so I'm thinking uh, like I mentioned earlier, I, I feel like the stack attacker could be stealth rock and this Mesprit could be choice. I didn't want to like just take like a scarf u-turn or maybe whatever like you know so i'm just gonna go hard tran it covers if he is rock still and if um he goes for u-turn like it's fine against both of those so he is, he is rocks mesperate which makes me question his stack attack is set even more <laughs> like i don't know if he's actually like some infestation nasty stuff or if he's just standard trick room or like what's going on uh but he wants rocks i'm getting rocks up he knows i'm getting rocks up he goes hard darn to fuck my shit up however i do have something to just throw in front of this thing now, if he goes for a Flare Blitz right here, I will explode. <laughs> uh, I have to hope that he does not go for Flare Blitz, and thankfully he does not. Uh, he just goes for Earthquake, which is a little baby damage. A little baby damage. Dang, that's not even Life Orb damage, dude. So he's not Life Orb, uh, which makes me think he might be Choice again. But I still don't think Choice is that good against me, because it's hard to lock yourself in the Flare Blitz when I have a Tran. Uh, so in order to find out, I just go for Knock Off. I was also thinking he might be Z at that point, because... That was not life orb damage, so like maybe he's like Z on his Darmanitan. So I go knock off on his Mesprit, and it turns out his Mesprit is Z. Or like male. Can you use male? I don't know. Because nothing got knocked off. Um, so I'm going to go into a Tran. I don't know if he's like uh, Grass Z or just Psychic or whatever. As he goes for his own knockoff, and he, he gets a crit, which whatever, it's a little extra shit. And he sees that I'm Z or male. <laughs> so. So we got two Z users just sitting on the field right now. He goes for a U-turn. He's not going to pop his Z. He ain't going to pop it. Let me tell you what. I'm not going to pop mine either. I think I just went for a flamethrower here. Because um, I could have will o -wist. I uh, I'm a pussy. I'm a pussy. I could have will o -wist there. I could have will o -wist. I just go for a regular flamethrower. Um, just, you know, test the waters a little bit. See what he wanted to do for his play. Like, I can't. I'm fire Z. Like, if I fire Z in my lot, it's going to do nothing. <laughs> or this. It's going to do nothing. Uh, so he has leftover Zygarde again, and he is, uh, looks to be like bulky yet again. So here I'm worried that he might be that dreaded like uh, sub uh, dragon tail stuff like that. 
Now, do note that Grass Knot will break his sub, like, no matter what. Like, if he's max HP, max Pedef, like, careful. Is careful plus Pedef on his special attack? I don't know. Whatever. Wash up Battler. Uh, it should still break. Because um, Grass Knot, because Zygarde is a very heavy Pokemon. So this is, like, base 120. I get a crit on his sub, but I'm pretty sure that broke, no matter what. Just because Grass Knot's so strong against that fatty. As he shows the Toxic again. Uh, which makes you think he's not... Uh, it could still be Dragon Tail, I guess, but I feel like if he's Dragon Tail, it's Sub Coil, Thousand Arrows, uh, Dragon Tail, and not this. <laughs> um, so maybe, so it might it might be the same move set he brought uh, last time. I don't know what he brought last time exactly. Like, I know it's Sub Toxic and Thousand Arrows, but I don't know what the last move was. Uh, but he's going to go Mesprit. Uh, as I go for another Grass Knot. Now, Mesprit, on the other hand, is a very slim Pokemon. So as you see, that's going to do two. I'm pretty sure my Grass Knot base damage is like 2. So we're doing no damage there. Doing no damage. Uh, I don't think... Did he show U-turn on this? No, he did show U-turn. I think he U-turned out on my Tran. Um, but I do have some speed on my Celebi. So I was like, I, I, I could be slower here. But it's just like, fuck it. You know? Fuck it. And I guess I'm rewarded by the gods because I crit his ass. Which, I'm going to tell you right now, a million percent mattered. I don't think that U-turn is killing him under any circumstance. Um, so I, he would have had a free move to click. And he, he and that was a Z crystal holder, so he could have like just busted out a random Z move there and fucked me up. Uh, so I'm gonna go Keldeo here to force in his superior because I didn't really have. This is the, probably the best thing to have uh, in front of me right now, probably. Um, so I'm just, I'm just gonna go hard Tran after he goes superior. He goes for Leaf Seed, which is a good play. Um, because if he sub, he can start just spamming substitutes, and I can't really do much about it because he's just gonna be healing. Um, and I am like close to max HP, so this is going to be healing even more. Uh, so he's not the complete scumbag reset. Does that set even accomplish anything? Like sub, glare, leech seed, and like leaf storm? Like, what are you attacking? You have, I guess you just leaf seed everything and glare everything. Does superior get a flinching move? Dude, you know how dirty that would be? Does superior actually get a flinching move? Like, what if you just go like sub, leech seed, glare, flinching move? And just flinch and paralyze and leech seed. Anyway, I just use my Z move here to flex. Like it does literally nothing, but I'm flexing anyway. So like, I, that was like my blender cosplay for a turn when he just flexes for no reason and it does absolutely nothing. But at least, uh, can I skip? This is actually post comp, so I can actually skip this because all you're gonna see is me quick flamethrower until he can't sub anymore. So let's just go somewhere. Oh shoot, I get too far. All right, so he subbed a couple more times. I flamethrower a couple more times. Remember I said, like, if I had an accurate fire move, that could have extremely backfired. We're safe around here. Protection. You got to keep yourself protected. So we have the, the accurate fire move. Um, so he can't sub right now, and I'm going to die to Leech Seed. So I decided to make a big dick play and go for will -O's, which is not an accurate move. <laughs> um, but in case he wants to do something like this, and ca if I could catch this boy with a will -O's, that would be fantastic. And thankfully, Heatran is in playoff mode, and we actually hit the Zygarde with a will -O -Is. Um... Which is definitely gonna well it's gonna cancel his leftovers i don't know what attacks he has on it i'm assuming thousand arrows because thousand arrows is broken um i don't know what other attacks he has on it well there's only one more attack after that point whatever it's burned its physical attack is crippled and yeah okay Th that yeah whatever uh so i go back into celebi um i kind of did this to hope that he would just get out expecting to recover i don't feel like i actually needed even this much HP on my Celebi, because I could always recover on my Lotic, it looked like, and Zygarde, especially since it's burnt. So I'm just going to go straight for a U-turn. He does end up switching out into Darmanitan, which is probably best case, because that means I get 25 off of it for basically free. Um, he can still be Scarf, um, since he did just go U-turn, or he went Earthquake earlier and then just immediately switched, and I know he's not Z. Um, but I get my Keldeo in, and his mess where it's gone, um, so we can just spam Secret Sword now. This is where like that crit matter because he could have used Mesprit probably. Well, what was that? That was lag. I don't know how much the U-turn would have done. <laughs> I don't know if the U-turn would have put him into Stealth Rock range, but even in that case, he can use it as a sack uh, for the Keldeo instead of like throwing his superior away as the sack. Um, but oh well, he goes in Zygarde afterwards. I feel like he has to go for Toxic here if he wants to do this because he's probably thinking my Lotic can recover against Keldeo if it's uh, poisoned. Uh, but like I said, I don't think my Celebi needs that much HP to be able to check his Zygarde or his Milotic at this point. Uh, especially now that his Zygarde is burned. 
And since Celebi has natural cure, I don't mind switching it in to eat up a toxic. It's not a problem. Uh, I don't actually remember what happens in, in these next couple of turns, but th I think I click recover and then like some grass knot shit happens and he's uh, just clicking. Oh, no. Okay. I remember what happens now. He, he, he shows off his hidden tech. You guys are the hidden power with his Zygarde. Uh, that does nothing because <laughs> it's not bug. Even if it was bug, it would do nothing. Uh, I'm going to assume that was like flying for Heracross if it's still super effective on my Celebi and it's doing that little because I don't think there's anything else it would need to be but it yeah, has nothing but I guess damage is damage you know damage is damage so we know his whole set sub toxic did he ever click thousand arrows it's a Zygarde though like I feel like like when you use Zygarde it just comes with the move it just comes with thousand arrows you know like I don't think it just you, well, I guess it doesn't have to I guess I don't know his set I don't know if he clicked thousand arrows Whatever. I'm grass knotting. He's he's hidden powering. I'm very weakened at this point, but his Zygarde is very weakened and burned and all this stuff. So I'm fine with just spamming grass knot somewhere. Um, at this point, uh, I feel like I'm in a decent spot. Like his look at look at his Darmantan. Darmantan is also pretty thick, boy. So it's gonna take some good damage from his grass knot so much to where he can't switch into Stealth Rock again. Um, Cause like he does have stack attack in the back and the fact that he's keeping it in the back actually makes me think it's tr trick room like the more and more it's going into the game i'm thinking okay, it might be trick room stack attack but i have my dawn fan at near full hp and my keldeo near full hp so i'm kind of fine with that uh so i do just let celebi go down because i don't really have anything that wants to take a flare blitz um and i go into my scarf archaeops uh, in case it's is scarf i don't want keldeo to take like 50 percent from a darmantan flare blitz because that shit hurts um, and Scarf Archaeops is not, it's useful, but it's not that useful. Uh, so I get a second U-turn off on this Milotic, which I'm still thinking is, has the potential to be pretty offensive. Um, like max HP, max special attack or something like that. Uh, but my Zorora is in now. Um, Darmantan is dead to Stealth Rock. Zygarde is at like no percent. It, it will die to a knockoff. Uh, this Milotic definitely die. Um, and all he has left really is stack attacker. I do not have close combat though. That is important. I don't have close combat. Um, so he sacks his, uh, Darmanitan here. And I decided to just bulk up in his face. Cause like, even if he skull burns me, I have a Lumberry. So I thought that was fine. If he decided to stay in there and sack my Lodic instead of Darmanitan. Uh, it's not a plus one, plus one. Chilling. He goes into a baby. I don't know. That's supposed to be after a drive something or a drives baby. It, it, I don't. I don't understand that nickname because I'm assuming that's not what a drives baby looks like at all. But hey, what do I know? Uh, so I go for a big plasma fist. Does over half. Uh, that doesn't that actually does indicate that he is that uh, attack boosting set because otherwise it shouldn't do that much. So he has like the minus defense IVs or whatever. Um, so he just goes for earthquake. It's not gonna kill me because I do have the uh, plus one defense. Uh, and I just finish him off with plasma fist. Uh, I actually don't like this play for myself. Uh, you're gonna see why <laughs> here soon but uh, i finish him off with a plasma fist um so zoro gets a nice ko uh, he is under the trick room though and offensive milotic under the trick room right now is actually kind of a problem <laughs> um like if he's like hydro pump ice beam hidden power like electric or grass or something like it, he, but he's just called uh, a little baby move but it does mean my zoro goes down at this point uh, i do have keldeo which um, can just click Secret Sword, and he probably can't touch it. Uh, so go Keldeo. I could have also went Donphan here, because Donphan would actually be slower. Uh, actually, I should have went Donphan here. Because Donphan would be slower, and I can knock off his leftovers. And I kind of just like, I think, yeah, Donphan's for sure slower. So I go for a Secret Sword here, uh, and it doesn't, and I'm Specs. And so this is where the problem came, is because of my earlier Calx thinking he's max HP, because Secret Sword is supposed to do 60 to 70 percent, <laughs> uh, and it's only doing like 50, which is still good, but it's only doing 50, which is means he's actually max defense. Um, but I just crit his ass anyway, so we don't have to worry about my and th that was the last turn at Trick Room, so that was probably the worst turn for him to get crit. Um, I yeah, and we ended up just killing it. So that's why I said I regret that play earlier, just staying in his Aurora like that. I think a better play would have been well. Assuming that I knew he was max defense Milotic, a better play would have been to uh, go hard Donphan after he set up the Trick Room and just let Donphan click Earthquake in the Trick Room 
Because it's not taking anything from a stack attacker. Um, and then if he goes Milotic, I can quick knock off then. Or, or even after I sack Aurora, go Dawn Fan first to quick knock off and then spam Secret Sword. Because um, otherwise, I have to do that, which is spam Secret Sword and PP stall him out of recovers or hope to crit him event. Like, I'm still in a winning position, but that I could have ended that game a lot cleaner if I just went switched to Dawn Fan on the stack attacker or brought Dawn Fan out after sacking Zorora. <laughs> uh, but instead, uh, I start spamming Secret Swords on, which is still a good position because eventually you will crit or I'll PP stall him at at worst case, which is still fine because after he's PP stalled at a recovery, he's not going to be healing. Uh, and But yeah, I could have played that cleaner. Uh, I do think Dawn Fan was still able to live a Scald. So even if we did like the PP stall thing, I can knock off his leftovers with Dawn Fan and I still have Archaeops in the back not in defeatist range hey we can click outrage outrage at that point is pretty clickable actually um and i still have moves to click with keldeo uh they don't do that much but if he's not healing with anything like no leftovers and no recover especially because we can pp stall those then i think it was still in the bag but yeah i could have played that cleaner at the end but hey victory regardless um that does mean we go to uh top four to the semifinals. i don't know how i'm gonna be honest i don't know how man like, I'm just literally, I feel like, I do feel like this matchup was very favored, though, and I feel like a, a kid, like a five-year-old kid could play this matchup decently. Like, that's not, 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 that's not flaming Kelly at all. Like, Kelly's obviously a good battler. I'm talking about the matchup. Like, uh, it is, I feel like it was one-sided. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know who we play out of, is that going to be Envy or Leo? Uh, we did beat Leo last time, but his team, his team changed and we did beat envy last time but we literally brought choice to everything <laughs> so, it's whatever and then and the other side like if who's well i don't want to spoil i actually know what happened on the other side i i don't know what happened between envy and leo but i know what happened on the other side but not no spoilers no spoilers but yeah uh, that's the post com like or comment something something greatly appreciated and see you guys next time